Hello, this is Mark Montgomery. I'm founder and CEO of K Yield. Uh, you can reach me at markm at kyield.com if you'd like to shoot me an email. Uh, this is a video number three for the K Yield Enterprise pilot. Uh, again, our folksy video series uh, one and two. Uh, highly recommended if you haven't taken a look. It should be right there in your navigation. Uh, the title of this one is Data Tailored to Each Entity. Um, and I want to focus today as a management consultant, which is how I started this journey before I uh, uh, converted our consultancy to an incubator and lab and started managing neural networks and become an architect of IT systems. So uh, again, this is based on, I didn't provide the title in the previous videos, but it's important here, uh, based on artificial, substantially based on an AI patent. Um, and it's a systems patent, and the title is Modular System for Optimizing Knowledge Yield in the Digital Workplace. Uh, that is very important. Um, it is much, much more difficult to provide than it may sound, um, and it required many years because a lot of things had to happen. Um, the infrastructure in IT needed to mature. Uh, based, some basic research needed to happen in terms of data standards and evolving the data languages so that we could uh, exchange data uh, universally and remember our system is based on those standards um, so that it brings the total cost of ownership way down and, and integration down. Um, and then uh, most recently uh, it, we really needed in large organizations for to scale uh, we needed the hardware and software and related systems um, to mature and perform at a much much higher rate specifically for structured data. Um, and that's taken place in the past couple of years, and that's why we're doing it this year. Finally, uh, it's achievable in near real time in a very large organization, extended mobile uh, to the mobile workforce, which needed to occur for it to be you know, functional and to be able to achieve what we're achieving here in the optimizing knowledge yield. So again, uh, briefly, in the entire organization, we do extend to and from. Uh, data through the entire organization in a highly structured manner uh, that gives us the rich intelligence to be able to achieve the analytics and different functions and applications that we want to do. Uh, we provide the governance and regulatory system. Actually, uh, I think our system is richer than the, those that are available just because we, we collect richer information based on the humans in the system. Um, and that's where all of these issues, uh, you know, come up and the problems, uh, obviously, were organizations of humans. Um, in, in most cases, it's not a robot or a, or a computer system that's, that's causing crisis. There are humans in their activity and behavior um, and the relationships. <clears throat> so we provide that structure, uh, but today I primarily want to uh, look at uh, competitiveness because that's something of very important uh, to you know management consultants and senior managers and boards and if it isn't it should be um, in just about any kind of organization including national government governments and states uh, who you know uh, we have several interested and engaged at various uh, stages of uh, our pilot program um, and also just about any kind of corporation a uh, private corporation uh, where we should be focused on competitiveness um, and uh, Peter Drucker quote here, uh, you know, there's two functions in business, marketing and innovation. I think he takes it a little bit extreme, but he's, I, I think, also trying to make a good point, uh, especially at the time he made it, is that those are the two primary functions in an organization or a company, I should say, in a business, and everything else is cost. The trouble is, we ran into problems uh, since uh, Peter Drucker said that, and his uh, brilliant work in organizational management, we have had a, a you know a three four decade uh, evolution of enterprise IT, and enterprise IT was primarily focused at considered a cost uh, to be managed, and you see a lot of written about it in CIO material today. But as as the enterprise systems four decades ago became uh, you know offered. Uh, the compelling uh, competitive advantage was simply that if you didn't have it and your competitor did, you were in trouble. The trouble with that is as it became globally um, you know, commoditized, the big C, uh, we're, we're paying more and more dollars in our organizations 
for enterprise systems that are no longer providing a competitive advantage. Um, unless you spend more uh, to develop and custom and tailor those systems on top of what, frankly, has become a huge tax of entry, cost of entry. Um, obviously, that's a you know that's not a good situation, and in fact, it's bankrupt uh, some organizations. So, uh, what we've done is is looked at this from how do you uh, you know organize your uh, your your systems. Really, it's about the data. So we set up this to provide adaptive data uh, in our design um, that is focused on running your organization the way it should be in a network environment, um, rather than the interests of you know entrenched incumbents. And so what we do is really it allows you to manage your relationships. Um, the adaptive uh, data management allows you to do that. It, it actually requires it as part of the system. Um, and each one of us are knowledge workers in the system, at least most are, that are hooked up to the system. And, and it's based on self-managed profiles. So this is the revolutionary part of k -Yield Enterprise, is that rather than historically in computers that track your behavior and then use fancy, you know, complex algorithms to try and guess uh, what you are interested in looking at today based on what you did yesterday and last week, you know, the early search algorithms that we studied uh, pretty in detail in our lab, um, that had, you know, that's okay for the advertising model on the web, I suppose. It's not okay for most organizations. Really what you want to do as a knowledge worker, any kind of knowledge worker, you want to be able to manage your own profile of what you want to do today and tomorrow to reach your objectives. What's your goals? What's your priorities? Um, so we've flipped the whole relationship around. It's not based on behavior. You know, uh, if, if, if I'm a patient and, and I'm obese and I want to improve on that, um, I certainly don't want my behavior of the past uh, to dictate what's going to happen in the future. Likewise, you know, if you're a heart patient or any other kind of patient, you want to change your behavior. You want to look at, at uh, the high quality data. This enables you to do that. Similar to a student, different coursework in an educational institution that uh, you know you have a professor or a teacher managing that, um, and so you have these different relationships in this in different styles of relationships in a in a normal sort of organization. Independent contractors managing those relationships, uh, permanent employee and, and partner organizations. So if you have research and development with you know multiple organizations and employees from each. There are human, you know, and contract uh, legal uh, software that will help you do that. They're not able to optimize knowledge yield and benefit um, in, in your knowledge currency that we discussed in the video too. So that's what uh, we do with our, our system and it's revolutionary because uh, within the governance uh, and regulatory structure of the organization, it allows each entity to self-manage the profiles in a, in a semi-automated fashion that's very simple to do with the modules. Um, and actually, uh, you can even set it on automated, have it fully automated if you'd like. It's not going to be as adaptive that way. That's where we run into problem with behavior, tracking behavior, is that it's fully automated based on behavior um, with uh, you know cookies and tracking uh, algorithms. But, uh, but rather, uh, if I have a project coming up, what kind of data do I want to be uh, consuming and what quality and what volume to be able to optimize my knowledge yield. And, uh, and also, as, the, as their work, the knowledge worker work becomes populated in the system, the whole system and organization becomes smarter. Uh, so the benefits of this system, there's actually many, but the primary benefits um, for knowledge workers is much higher productivity. Uh, that should be evident, I hope, so that uh, you know when you when you have uh, the ability to manage the quality and quantity of your data consumption based on priorities, uh, that really optimizes productivity um, and higher quality outcomes. So w you know if I have the ability to manage my profile and my data consumption um, in my digital workplace environment uh, based on not my history. Um, and not my last project, but what my current project and future projects are, then um, we're going to be able to 
deliver a much higher quality outcome. Whether I'm working on a, you know, a new drug and I'm a scientist uh, for a big pharma, a partner, or a contractor, um, a, a lawyer, uh, it really doesn't matter, a professor, a student, a patient, doesn't really matter what, you're, what you, you, you are and the type of entity you are, as long as it's governed properly and accounted properly, um, and you have the ability to manage that within the, the structure, um, the result is optimizing knowledge yield in the digital workplace. So that's uh, video number three, data tailored to each entity um, in our revolutionary system. Hopefully that'll shed a little bit of light from um, you know, the organizational management perspective. Thank you.